look, my man, uh, everyone's talking about Rasul Butler and his wife. I have a question. Tragedy, big tragedy. How, how does it feel? How, how, how does the NBA feel right now? There's all the insiders, man. What's, uh, I, what's your I, I can only imagine. I just heard an hour ago. I didn't know. Um, I just heard an hour ago. Um, just incredibly sad. He was a good guy. Uh, we have Philly roots together. Um, I've known him for many, many years and uh, loved his wife. Obviously, loved his family and um, for him and his wife to be in the car and to just lose yourself, lose your life like that. I mean, look, we get on the road every day, we drive every day. You know, it can happen to any of us. And, um, I really don't know what to say right now. I'm at a loss for words. All I can say is that it's incredibly sad and the world lost a good brother. He was good people. His wife is good people too, and I'm just real sad. Well, when you see something like this, it's tough because there's no like reason, you know? What, is there is there anything to a takeaway from this for for young players? I don't, I don't know because I don't know the details. Again, if he was you know if he was behind the wheel, and he was inebriated. That would be one thing. Right. You say don't do that. Right. But if you just drive in, and, you, know, you could hit some black ice or something that slid. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, we don't know the details. Like I said, I just heard an hour ago, and um, I really don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna miss. Him. Well, look, man. Hey, look, I, I, I'm so, sorry. I know that hits home for you. And uh, I think the whole NBA is shocked and, and, and just sports world in general, you know? Thanks a lot. Uh, well, look, take care, brother. Thank you.